They say sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. And right now, right now, Here, I'm losing. You know that you are with homeschool families, homeschool coaches, godly people who care more about your child than whether she's a star athlete or not. God has used my experience with basketball to help me find myself again. I have been on a marksmanship team, and besides basketball, that is it. I have always played sports um, from young, really young. I have three adult children who always played sports. She didn't express an interest in April. <laughs> I did. <laughs> so it was like, we gotta find something. Um, a clinic came about for basketball and I asked, read about that again online and asked her if she wanted to do it and she said, sure, real surprisingly. And she'd never played a sport in her life. And so I was a little nervous about how that would go, but from the day she showed up, she just absolutely loved it. She had a new family and she loved it. Like there's a why I brought up. Um, the clinic to her. It just happened to be um, about three months after my dad had passed away and we had taken care of my dad um, for Riley's whole life. Uh, he was a disabled veteran. He began to get really sick and after a few months of being in the hospital like non-stop I felt like I lived in the hospital. He passed away two days before Christmas and me and my mom just kind of shut down. I got emotionally very unstable. I just stayed in my room. I didn't talk to anyone. I didn't want to be around anyone. They say sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. And right now, right now I'm losing bad. And so he I'm a single mom and he was the only man in our house and so his passing away that Christmas um, just left this gaping hole in our lives and I just tried to avoid any contact with any people and I just lost my personality, I lost friends and it was just a really rough time. And Riley is becoming more and more just shut down and just really we were just in a bad place. And then when my mom asked me if I wanted to play basketball or try a skills clinic in the summer, I really hated basketball at the time, but I was like, well, why not try? It won't hurt to try. So I tried and just from day one, I just loved it. I loved the people. I wasn't very good, but I still, I just felt encouraged by everyone and love. What I liked most with my experience in basketball was the people. I would just be down and mad at myself. They would come up and ask me like, hey, are you okay? What can I do for you? How can I pray for you? And even all of the coaches, they just made my day so much better every time I went to practice or a game. I remember one practice where I got really sick and I didn't feel good and so I had to go to the bathroom and then one of the girls came and prayed over me, like verbally, and just said, God, please help her through this. Help her know that you're gonna be okay. And that just like, really sent a message to my heart, like I am where I'm supposed to be and these people really love me. It just encouraged me in ways that just made me feel loved and cared for. And even with both of my parents not home, they just still made me feel a part of their family. Like I had a whole family, at least in one place. She would get in the car and just be so excited to tell me that like, the coach says that he can't believe I've never played before. I've made so much progress since last week. And just to see this kid who just had such a burden for the few months prior to that, and we still had so much life change to go through. And to know that she was living for showing up at the gym, to play ball, to learn something new, and just for those little pieces of encouragement. And then from that to be prayed over and to be, have, Bible lessons and character lessons and to get all the things from sports that we know are so good that is beyond sports, which is that we win some, we lose some, we work hard and don't make progress sometimes. we There's so much stuff in there besides just playing ball that's going to carry over for her whole life, what that looks like. And um, that's 
what to me that should either be around godly Christian whole families and see what God does with that. It was the best thing that we ever did. So I would just like to say thank you so much for loving me. They say it only takes a little faith to move a mountain. Well, good thing a little faith is all I have right now God when you choose